fuel oil pressurizing and heating system this lecture is part of the lecture series on steam power plant systems it may be useful for plant operating staff fuel oil is the secondary fuel of large pulverized coal fired boilers the main purpose of the fuel oil system is to facilitate the start up of boiler since pulverized coal on its own is unable to ignite and requires ignition energy from an external source fuel fuel oil is required for flame stabilization at low load low load is usually between 30% and 40% of bmcr so fuel oil is required for flame stabilization at low load operation with pulverized coal the system is also capable of ensuring low load operation of boiler without coal firing low load of the boiler is up to 30% of boiler maximum continuous rating request it is hope that this session is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe yeah lecture hindi mein bhi उपलब्ध है एल डी ओ एंड एच एफ ओ सिस्टम द फ्यूल ऑयल सिस्टम कैन जेनरली हैंडल टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑयल दैट इज लाइट डीजल ऑयल विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एल डी ओ एंड हैवी फ्यूल ऑयल also called hfo the functional requirement of the above two oils is as per the following slides the primary function of ldo is to light up the boiler during cold start up second the hfo provides hot start up of boiler flame stabilization and low load operation ldo light diesel oil system in this diagram we can see the ldo system here we are having the ldo tank then we are having the strainer then ldo pressurizing pump and here we are having the pressure control valve here is the shut off valve and here the oil ldo oil is going to burners The LDO system consists of high pressure screw or gear pumps and a pressure control recirculation valve provided on common discharge header of pumps for maintaining constant pressure. pumps are also provided with strainers at their suction these pumps take suction from the ldo tanks
in this system the return line from the burner end is not required since viscosity of this oil is compatible with that required for proper firing as recommended by manufacturers of burners and thus do not require prior warm up HFO heavy fuel oil system this diagram shows the HFO system here we are having the HFO tank then we are having the strainer this is your HFO pressurizing pump then we are having the HFO heater this is the temperature control valve and this is the pressure control valve again we are having a strainer and this is the shut off valve and this is the return line and this is also the return line the hfo pumping and heating system comprises high pressure screw pumps and dedicated fuel oil heaters the pumps take suction from hfo tanks strainers are provided at the suction of the pumps as well as downstream of the hfo heaters a pressure control recirculation valve is provided on common discharge header of pumps which maintains constant pressure downstream of heaters since it is quite viscous hfo is required to be preheated to attain requisite viscosity at burners as per manufacturer's recommendations for proper atomization and combustion fuel oil heater uses steam from the auxiliary steam header and is controlled by a temperature control valve at the inlet to the heater to maintain constant fuel oil temperature at heater outlet the hfo at the required pressure and temperature is supplied to the burners a return line from the fuel oil header supplying to the burners is provided to route excess oil back to the oil tank and also to maintain hot oil circulation up to the boiler front for use in burners in the case of emergency the hfo supply and return lines are insulated and either steam traced or electric traced to keep the lines warm at all times similarly pumps and strainers are steam oblique electric jacketed request it is hoped that 
this session was useful to you please press like button please subscribe